Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we have an era on my 24-7 server it's the awesome Lenovo SR650 I found out in the last video that I did where I was messing with the other awesome Lenovo SR650 the one that is now going to be able to, to fit 12 bays down here but never mind that um, we have a bad drive and it's drive number zero here and it's lighting up and um, yeah we're gonna replace that I am so lucky that that drive is um, it's in a RAID I put it in a RAID 1 it's in a mirror so let's go and see what the computer says this look like so first I have the Lenovo X Clarity Administrator installed here and it tells me that I have one server on it it has a big nasty exclamation mark and if I press that clickety click uh, it tells me that it's this server and it also tells me let's see critical and it tells me over here that there is something wrong with a drive so yeah we can we can get some info here it's not very convenient but it does say that drive zero in close my brother has been disabled due to detected fault so yeah that drive has been disabled it has even opened a support case um, but I think I have disabled that so it, it shouldn't have been able to do that so then we go to the server itself we can do that from the administrator here we can launch this one I have it running up here but that's the same thing as going on to the management of the server itself and it looks like this it complains about the controller over here it also complains about the RAM that's an old error I haven't fixed that but uh, yeah the server has 768 gigabytes of memory and it doesn't see all of it but I haven't I haven't needed all of it so it's it's fine um, also it says local storage so if I press the local storage we go to the local storage there and we can see the different drives that are in here we have the m.2 drive 1 and we have 128 gigabyte uh, m.2 SATA SSD and then we have drive 0 which is the one that is messing with us is a 4 terabyte uh, hard spinning hard drive and drive 1 which is also a 4 terabyte those two are in a RAID 1 so we can go and see this one is the one that is messing up so I can expand that and down here it says critical and state this kind of says that it's online I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate but it might be so it's fine we need to replace that drive and four terabyte and four terabyte so yeah and then I have a I have a I have a two terabyte SSD down here that is in a it's, it's it isn't protected at all so, so it's a good thing that it wasn't that one that failed oh dear I have one heck of a mess here how can I be so this messy um, but I did look earlier before I started filming and I actually have five of these four terabyte um, and uh, yeah we can start the war in the in the comments the drive that has failed is a seagate drive and it's a four terabyte bakuda drive just like this one let's just put that one in and put the four other ones back over here so uh, yeah let's take the drive out and um, replace it with that one so always important to take the right drive out otherwise you will know about it so yeah that one comes out it's gonna be pissed so. yep four terabyte barcuda drive sorry so I'm gonna I'm gonna switch the tray over I'll have my trusty little kit here which I got from a subscriber Philip I got this from you thank you still using it I think it's this one I forget it's a very nice little set it has seen plenty of use over the years
drive out. Drive in. Screw it. I need to remember that this one is bad. So this drive is in a is being controlled by a rate controller in there. So as soon as I put a new drive in here, the rate controller is going to recognize that it needs to use this new drive together with the other one. So I'm going to put that in. It's going to check out that drive. It's complaining about it right now, but it's going to check it out. And then it's going to be starting to blink in a little bit. And then it's going to be copying data from the other drive. They're blinking. And now they are synchronizing the data that is on those drives. So, rate controller, that's how easy that is. Well, and then it starts blinking yellow. That wasn't nice, now that I'm talking good stuff about it. Okay, apparently it's not that bad. I just checked on the computer and it has started to rebuild. Here we are at the computer and you can see that there is still drive zero here. And if I expand that now, it's uh, state rebuilding health status is normal so that part is good and the other drive is uh, online and normal so so right now it's quite dangerous because if that drive fails right now I might lose some data I forget if I use that for anything but I might so um, yeah move it <laughs> and we can see that the drive is down here it's a array configured one virtual drive that's how a rate controller does it it takes the physical drives and it makes it into a virtual drive and then it presents the virtual drive to the operating system as if it was a disk so this is the disk that is being presented to the operating system and it's in a rate one so um, and it contains of drive zero and drive one so it is protected and i just um, it just worked i just had a drive fail and i replaced it and now it's rebuilding and in some amount of time which i have no idea how long it's going to take when it's rebuilding here uh, it will be good to go again out here on the main screen is still pretty pissed uh two errors there they will disappear when it's all good there is another place where we get a good overview and that's over here we can get rate setup that's where you can configure all of this inside of the server and we can see that it's this is the thing that we have configured uh, or I have configured and uh, we can we can go and check it out and we can see what's going on there and close that and then we can see storage inventory up here and we get kind of an overview of what is going on in the server here we have these two drives that are in that rate one and then we have this drive which is in a rate zero or a jbot just a bunch of disk so there's that and so we also get the option of going and see when did this happen we can go into the event viewer here and it shows us all the events in a second so i can see drive zero has failed it has failed there that is today uh this morning so i uh I discover it pretty fast that is not normal because I don't actually go into the data center all the time it was kind of a coincidence that I was just filming in there today so it failed and it's complaining and blah 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 and around here there I removed the drive that was when I took it out and then I put in another one uh, Oh, I didn't put that in yet there as uh, it must be there it started the rebuild so there's a few minutes 10 seconds I was kind of more than 10 seconds of putting that drive back in so okay so that it's 656 and that's it's 59 so I was like three minutes of replacing the drive so there is nothing uncommon for a drive like this to fail. It has um, it has done good. It has run for many years. I'm hoping to find a date on it. 
This is from 2018, so it's kind of soon that it's breaking down. It's only been running for six years, and I might have had it on the shelf for some time as well. So, yeah, six year old drive shouldn't really be failing already. But, well, it's a Seagate. They fail all the time. Leave in the comments if you disagree or if you agree. I know that um, that is almost a religious standpoint, but yeah, it's a, it's a Seagate drive and it. Um, I'm gonna bring it into the other computer and check it out. So yeah, th thank you very much for watching my video. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.